our workforce, our businesses, our citizens and our kids are, are really wanting more opportunities in technical education. This bill expands that. Utah lawmakers provided millions of additional dollars this year to help schools boost their technical education programs, known as catalyst centers. They want to provide more hands-on training so kids can get high-demand jobs and to provide Utah industry with the workers they need. And when I show you what's possible with this next young man, you might want to know more about technical training, even if you already have a job. Braden Nordfeld could be the poster child for technical education in Utah. One year out of high school, he's a second year electrician apprentice. He helps build the Facebook data center in Eagle Mountain, and he estimates this year he'll make $85,000. Did you ever dream that out of high school you'd be making that kind of money? No, it, it's definitely a shock. Like, I knew the money was good in this field, but I didn't know it would be this much. My plan was always to go into the trade or college, but my dad kind of pushed me into the electrical field. He kind of gave me two options of either electrician or HVAC, and I have other family that have been electricians, so I kind of made me want to pursue this path more. My goal currently is to save up and to get a house within this year or next year. Um, I just recently bought a brand new car, got a 2019 Jeep. And you knew there were job opportunities here in Utah? Yes. I. Utah's a big place and it's growing very fast, so I kind of knew that the, there was a lot of jobs available and they weren't going to go anywhere because of how quickly the state is growing. The president of Mountainland Technical College also knows there are abundant job opportunities and he tries to prepare students to meet the need. It used to be that you needed a four-year degree if you wanted what was considered a high-paying job. That's not the reality anymore. There are many more options that are available to students now. Uh, they can pursue um, industry certification through a technical college, and that can be included as part of a pathway or opportunities for them to go on to one of the degree-granting institutions here in the state of Utah or across the country. The other great part about that is this industry certification that they receive. It's not only valid or, or useful here within the state. In most cases, it's valid across the country. Do people realize the opportunities that exist at these technical colleges? What used to be uh, kind of a hidden gem now is, is more and more common to the point where we have full enrollment in, in most of our programs and have waiting lists in many of the programs. And that comes because there's great opportunities for students to go into the world of work or continue on with their education. And they're great paying jobs. Oftentimes they can be similar to their peers that might finish a four-year degree. So we don't like to say you have to do the tech college or a four-year degree institution. It's now it can be an and. It's not uncommon for our students to make uh, six-figure income. Certainly there are rich job opportunities after they finish the programs here that can, they can be making 50, 60, 70,000 or upwards of six-figure depending upon the occupational area that they choose. He stresses this training isn't just for high school students but for the estimated 400,000 Utahns with some college but no degree. It's been estimated there's over 400,000 uh, individuals in the state of Utah that fall under the some college no degree title and so that's part of the the, uh, the workforce or potential workforce that we're trying to work with and help them come in and complete that certification. A lot of people also don't see the money that's in it. In all these trades, whether you're doing plumbing, HVAC or electrician, there's all kinds of money. And those programs are available for kids in high school or students and adults in technical colleges. Coming up, What's my hope or expectations? Um, just to enjoy the unity and the love, I think, that um, an event like this can bring together. Thousands of Utahns, dozens of different religions, all gathered together to celebrate Easter.